Today we're going to make a paintbrush weaving. First, we're going to do the weaving part of our paintbrush, which is the paint that the paintbrush is painting. You'll need a loom, some pipe cleaners, tape, a weaving needle, and scissors. We're first going to put the pipe cleaners on the loom. Bend them to make a hook at the top, so that way we can put it at the top of our loom. Once you've made a hook out of each one, take and put one in each of the notches on the loom. Make sure they're going to attach without falling off. For this next part, you might need a friend to help you. You'll have to make sure that the strands of pipe cleaners don't overlap. You want to keep them separate. We're going to tape them down so that they don't move. Have a piece of tape ready. Have a friend or you push the pipe cleaners down, spacing them out so that they're not on top of each other or overlapping or crossing. And then lay a piece of tape on top of them to keep them down. I use two pieces of tape to make them really secure. Use a sharpie to write your name on the tape. Don't forget to write your class as well. Flip your loom over and tape the top of your pipe cleaners. Make sure they're nice and flat. those pipe cleaners aren't going anywhere. Now it's time to start weaving. You'll need your needle and some yarn. I have these yarn bunches that you'll take and pull the color out that you want. Your teacher might have something different. I'm going to start with red because I want to do the order of the color wheel. So I'm going to start by putting the yarn through my needle, crossing the string, and then taking that tail and pushing it through the back and underneath through the loop to make a knot. I'm going to do that again. Cross it, take the tail, turn it back, and put it through the loop. Pull it tight and your string is now attached to your needle, but make sure you tie it twice. Now we're going to start weaving. When you weave, you want to make a pattern of under, over, under, over, or over, under, over, under. You can start whichever way you want. You just have to remember to do the opposite each time you make a new row. When you pull, put your needle all the way through, pull the string to the end, but leave a tiny tail sticking out the end. Next, go back the other direction, like a zigzag, and go the opposite way that you just went. So if you ended by going under, go over that one so that it attaches in securely. Use the needle to help you comb the string up to the top or your fingers. Keep going the opposite way that you just went as you do a new row. Push your string up to the top each time, but don't pull it tight or you're going to end up making an hourglass. Now, here's something that a lot of people do and it causes a lot of frustration. Some people go the same way that they went on the last row. See how my needle is woven the same way as the last row? Then when you go to pull the string out, watch what happens. The string starts to pull the last row out and it can be really frustrating. You got to weave that row again and just keep going. It happens even to people who have been weaving for a long time like me. You just got to move on and keep going. Keep pushing that string up and you'll do just fine.
when you start to run out of string, your string will look really your string will look really short. Cut off so that there's a little tail left. Cut the knot off of the needle. Throw away that extra string. You don't need it. And then take your next color and add it to your needle. Like I said, I'm doing the rainbow order. So I picked orange next. Pinch the end of the string or yarn to be able to push it into the needle. Do the same thing we did before. Loop it, put the tail through, tie it tight. Loop it, put the tail through, tie it tight. Once you have the string attached, start where your tail is from your last string and do the keep going as if it's attached to that string and do the opposite of what you just did with the last string. So there's my tail. I'm going to keep going as if my orange is attached to my red, but I'm going to leave a tail of orange sticking out. So it's like I never switched colors or stopped. We'll end up cutting those tails off later and you won't even know they were there.